Here we have a Frigidaire dryer. The point is, is that it is loud. Confirmed. Where is the noise coming from, though? I put my ear up to the back here. I got some metal on metal grinding in the rear of the drum. Got the dryer off, so first we're gonna unplug it. Take this off. Let's see if we can see anything here first. Plenty of clearance here between the heating element and the drum, so. Next, we'll take the front panel off here, the console control panel. Now to get this panel off, there's also a, some screws here, right here. right there that you'll need to take off. So in order to get this console off, you'll actually need to unplug it from here. Not so much here because you do have wires going down further into the machine. So you need to unplug it here and you can loosen this zip tie here with uh, an eyeglass screwdriver or you can just cut it and find some other way to secure it back. So another thing that could cause heating problems on this Frigidaire dryer is a heater relay here. See that? Bad solder joints. All of them look like crap. So we're gonna clean these up and refresh them. Next we'll get this whole front panel off. And the screws here and here. And your top panel screw is here. And I already took the one off. It goes right here. And finally to get this front panel off, you have these bottom screws here. So I got the dryer taken apart and got the heating element, uh, housing and heating element, as you can see, is broken. And this was dragging on the drum and it was spinning around, making a noise like that. So we're able to get a new coil and we can just restring the housing. 13 bucks. So we've got the heating element uh, restrung. I refreshed the solder joints in the control board in here. So plugged in and slipped right up. And it's fired up. No more scraping noise. Running good. And we got heat. So yes, we got the dryer working, but as some of you may notice, yes, we don't have a proper door handle here. So like, subscribe, stay tuned. I might do a video on that. Uh, I'll probably improvise something because I don't feel like paying 100 to $125 for a new one. Yes, that is how much they actually cost. And there you have it. So before you throw it out, 13 bucks and a little solder. Got this dryer back up and running.